Tel Aviv, Israel. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on Friday countered growing U.S. pressure for a humanitarian pause in the nearly month-long war to protect civilians and allow more aid to Gaza, insisting it would not be temporary. The ceasefire will continue until approximately 240 hostages held by Hamas are released. Alarm has grown over the spiraling Palestinian deaths, the deepening misery of civilians from weeks of Israeli armament, and expanding ground offensives that risk even greater casualties. Nearly 1.5 million people in Gaza, or 70% of the population, have fled their homes, the UN said on Friday. After his meeting with Netanyahu, Blinken said a temporary halt was necessary to increase aid deliveries and help release hostages taken by Hamas during its brutal attack on October 7. However, Netanyahu said he told Blinken that Israel would continue at full throttle unless the hostages were released. U.S. officials say they do not want a ceasefire but short pauses in certain areas to allow for aid deliveries or other humanitarian activities, after which Israeli operations will continue. Netanyahu has not publicly voiced the idea and has instead repeatedly rejected a ceasefire. In Gaza, Israeli soldiers have tightened the siege of the largest city due to ongoing s with Hamas militants. The entrances to three hospitals in northern Gaza were hit as staff tried to evacuate the wounded. South. Hospital administrators said. The footage shows what happened outside Gaza's largest hospital. Shifa. Where the bloody bodies of more than a dozen men, women and young children were strewn next to damaged cars and ambulances. A bleeding child screamed as he collapsed on top of a woman sprawled on the pavement. Mohammed Abu Salimia, director of Shifa Hospital, said in a statement to Al Jazeera TV that at least 10 people were killed outside Shifa Hospital. At least 50 people were killed or injured in the attack outside Indonesia Hospital. Its director said, Fears from new fronts throughout war. Israel and Hezbollah exchanged fire almost every day on the Lebanese border. Increasing fear that a new front would open there. He suggested that escalation was possible we won't be limited to that. However, he refrained from announcing that Hezbollah would fully enter the war. So far, Hezbollah has taken calculated steps to show its support for Hamas without sparking an all-out war. That would be devastating for Lebanon and Israel. Blinken said the United States, which has deployed aircraft carriers and other forces to the eastern Mediterranean, is determined to ensure that no second or third front is open. Nasrallah rejected U.S. warnings that your fleets in the Mediterranean will not be able to scare us. Thursday saw one of the heaviest s ever at the border. Hezbollah attacked Israeli military positions in northern Israel with drones, mortar fire, suicide planes, and Israeli warplanes helicopter gunships retaliated for attacks in Lebanon.